stories. Yeah. Now I'm keeping these monk heads, all these heads here from the monkfish. I'm keeping all of those and I'm going to use those in my lobster pots. So absolutely nothing today will go to waste. The majority of the meat that you'll be eating when you eat monkfish is from the tail, monk tails. But you can also take the cheeks. Now monkfish tails are usually there. These have been tailed off. In fact I'll show you I've got that is what it looks like before. The cheeks are still in this one. I've been removing all the cheeks from all the skulls that we have left. And you just end up with like a wonderful disc of meat like that. Yeah, so I'm working my way through them. And then the rest of these, the rest of the skulls, I'm going to see if I can't turn them into a lobster. That one is practically a prawn. <laughs> it's tiny. But this one, this one is not. This one is a big one. And it's covered in sporobis, covered in little tiny keel worms. Well, I've finished tidying down now and I am ready to go back in. We have two absolutely stunning lobsters. I am over the moon with those. And to make it even better, we have a load of monkfish cheeks as well. Now these are, like that's a good sized cheek there. Perfect little medallion of, of flesh. Yeah. So we'll see what Jim can do with his monkfish cheeks and lobster. <laughs> Don't get any better than that, does it? We have made it round to Jim's. It is an absolutely beautiful day. And we have some stunning food. Here are the lobsters. This is the, this is the one covering the sporobis. Wait, I'll tell you what, calm yourself down. A round of applause for me. You see all the little bits of white keel worms on mm. it. Mm. Indeed. Also, some ling and the monk cheeks. James, have you got your, well done. Got your apron on. James said a really funny joke then. What? Said a round of the claws. Did you? Round of the claws. <laughs> Lobster claws. Not Santa Claus. No. I wonder which one of us it is you get your sense of humour from. Is it me or your mum? Me. Yeah. Comes down through me. <laughs> a sharp wit. Uh, Rhubarb crumble, no that's not what we're cooking, is it? <laughs> but we will be eating it. Uh, we have uh, monkfish cheeks and some lean carol. Doesn't care for the meaty texture of the monkfish she's in James's camp there. We're together there James. Uh, so, uh, seasoned flour with some cornstarch as was suggested in the comments which is what I do sometimes anyway but it, yes it does give it a different so, uh, we're going to roast some fennel I couldn't get any long shallots which I would have preferred to use so we'll roughly chop those onions James is slicing in half some charlotte salad potatoes so the salad potatoes the fennel Looking good. So what's it going to be? Oh, uh, well, monkfish cheeks with Bling. roasted vegetables and lobster. The pan is on for the lobsters and we will be dispatching those and cooking. Sorry, I'm <laughs> running away yeah. with myself. As Jim explained, the cooking of lobsters, cooking of, of shellfish, crabs and lobsters, really simple. We'll cover it in loads of videos, don't we, James? Yes. What type of boiling water do they go into? Hot boiling water. A rolling boil of water. Dispatch them, put them in the boiling water. You alright? <laughs> when the water comes back up to a rolling boil, two oh, more minutes no, no. and it's done. So yeah. Jim is olive oil in a tray with some, yeah, the, what is it, roughly chopped onions. Oven is 
preheated to 180. I've had that tray in there, so it's hot. Olive oil, generous slug of olive oil. Put the chopped onions in. The potatoes are going to go in. You're doing a very good job chopping them, Jim. Hold on. What are you trying to do? Look at that, Are you trying to pretend it's your hand? Yeah. Oh, scratch your Let's head with it. That back in. Well, so we'll slice up the fennel and then we'll add the fennel. So, the things that are going to take the longest to cook, you put them on first? Yes. He's, he's up to a rolling boil, we'll give him two more minutes and he's ready to come off. You can do some in a moment, James. It's I mean, really I mean, strong smelling. Isn't it's it? lovely, isn't it? Well, you, I, the last time we tried it, the first time I'd ever tried it, it was fennel, fennel fritters. fritters. But the taste of it raw to the taste of it cooked is... Completely yeah. different. And the taste of it brains is different again. So if we close that up and put spread. So I don't have to put my fingers through that hot oil. And we'll give that about 20 minutes. And then we'll put the other ingredients in. Cooling them off there. We know that serves them to your head. Yeah. You either have to shell them straight away or cool them off because the shell does retain a bit of heat and they'll just end up overcooking. So easy in cold water there. I'll shell him off in a second and we'll get the other one on. These oh that looks nice. like a good job. Yeah. Good man. Good man. Yeah, they are. It's just a pack of sweet peppers. You don't know what you're doing? No, no, no. No. <laughs> just over cane. Is that ready? That's ready to get the next one in. Yeah. Get that last lobster dispatch. Get it in the pan. Okay. Right the way through and then hold that over the dish and put the knife down, two hands and just pull the seeds out with your fingers. Of course the seeds aren't very nice to eat are they? I know these aren't spicy peppers are they? These are no, sweet. these are little sweet ones. Now that the loves have cooked, cooled them both down, I'm going to break them all down to pieces. I'm not going to take you through it step by step, I've got other videos to show for that, but what I'll do is break them down in segments and me and James will take the shells out, keep the shells aside, they'll be put into the freezer if we're going to be making a bisque in the future, and all the meat, we'll put that together in a bowl. You ready James? Yes. Good luck. Chopping up one, green chilli, salad potatoes, onion and fennel, now we're going to put those in. Sorry. <laughs> Ding a ling. Just give that a stir over and we'll turn it to the oven. And we'll give the peppers 10 minutes. Then we'll turn those to the oven. Let's get cracking. Just an update to where we are. That's the tails and the knuckles. I am just about to break the harder parts of the claws. And we're just about to add the tomatoes to the bed of roasting vegetables. Yeah, so just going to get the potatoes up. Practically, they're, well, they're cooked. So they will be perfect. So the next item to go in are these uh, baby plum tomatoes. There's three cloves of garlic roughly chopped up there by James. So we'll scatter. And all the seasoning that you've got on there is just a bit of sea salt and a bit of cracked black pepper. A little, very little sea salt actually, because I shall probably add a couple of kitchen spoons of... Oh, the water that we did the lobsters in. Water, yeah, which I will do now, I think. Oh, you, so you're going to add that to the tray so it's going to just help steam it? Yes, a little, yeah. So you could have also, at this point in time, that's where you could have added like a white wine, isn't it? You could have put wine or a continental lager, water even. But this is what I'm going to add also, is 
saffron. I had a steep some mm. saffron in hot water for an hour or so and we'll not all of it because it's quite strong but we'll make some tea treat buns maybe mm. uh, later. I'm going to mention in case anyone's noticed Jim has had a fight with the greenhouse earlier on didn't you? I thought we'd got away with it. Uh, right, let me just give this a little. And then we'll put this back. It smells uh, quite delicious. Mm. There's a good splash of sunflower oil and a knob of butter. Just lay that on its side to get the fast breaks out. <coughs> That's the plain flour, corn flour. Pepper and a little salt. Black pepper or white pepper? <laughs> a mixture of both. A mixture of both, actually. Just put that back in the oven to keep it going. Of course, the black pepper, you get a little bit of spice from it, don't you? And the white pepper gives you a bit of heat. Heat, yes. Monotonic heat. That's good. I'm going to do the ling first. Ling loin. For the people who watched the monkfish scampi video, the texture of monkfish, it's a lovely white meat, but it is it is more of a firm, chewy mm. meat, isn't it? More like your pollock and your ling. More, more flaky, yeah. Monkfish, it is, it is decidedly more chewy. Here's the monkfish cheeks, which I'll leave entire. Just something that gets overlooked, isn't it? It is. Uh, fish cheeks. I suppose the fish has to be big enough to justify cutting the cheeks out though, otherwise you're talking about... Because cod cheeks is a big thing with, um, with the bigger fish. I imagine conger would have big cheeks as well. Conger's got big everything. It's just got a monstrous great pit bull head on it. Not well, fair. Well that's it, adding it a piece at a time means it's also going round in a clock that as you did, that went in first so yeah. that'll get turned first. And that's it. Separated a little bit there because Carol's not overly fond of lobster. So keep her separate fish and fish. The, uh, it's almost two different types of meat, isn't it? The it's tail and the it is. tail and the claws. The tail is just like a solid piece of meat, whereas the claws, if you can almost see, it's in, the claws is a little bit more fibrous, like crab meat. Just kind of turn. You only want that to warm through. That little bit there where the, the light's going through. <laughs> Is it spoiling your camera? Well, no, it's good. The camera's obviously not, not very good. It can pick up one or it can pick up the other. It can't pick them both at the same time. Right, very, very now. Right. Oh, God, it's done it myself. And again. Power. Bit of dill, bit of parsley, squeeze of lemon in there. So we'll just place this on the top, adding the pan juices as we go. Gas is off. Say that balanced and precariously, I thought. Right. Put that one in. Put that one in. Put that one in. So we'll just. Oh, sorry. They do look lovely in there. So we just. It does look most attractive. So we'll leave that, have a little wipe down. 
lay the table. And when you see us next, we shall be outside. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 It was a good job that glass of water was there because yeah. it stopped it. Oh, it, it, would have fell down. it would have just been like a slippery bar of soap. Right, there is a mixture of lobster. Uh, all the veggies. There is James's cooked peppers and chips and fennel and, uh, and peppers. onions. The juice as well has got a little bit of saffron in it. And these are. There's a towel right there. I know, and I just thought if I try and pick up a towel and I mess it up and drop it, I'm going to look like even more of an idiot. I'd rather just, just burn myself a little bit. Mm, smells lovely. Monkfish this way. Right, it's, um, mm. Well, there's a comparison there between, between the lobster and the monkfish. For texture-wise, they are almost the same, aren't they? Lovely uh, juices. I'm always a little bit cautious eating tomatoes when I like this because they're like a hand grenade, aren't they? Oh, that is delicious. They Try one of your are juices, peppers. Hot. The mm. green one. Have you no room for a bit of lobster? No. Saving yourself for a mini milk. Did you want to get a mini milk? Going through this, it's one of those ones where you're constantly just like, mmm, mmm. Everything you. And the, um, the thing I like, I'm not a fan of too much, too much parsley, but just the right amount of it. Every now and again, when you pick a potato or pick a piece of pepper, it's just the aftertaste. It's just it. I don't know if the saffron has made as much of a taste as I, I mean, is it? It's. <coughs> it's I didn't put all of that in, it would have been overwhelming. But it's there. Uh. We're just all in risk now of going into a food coma. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, absolutely delicious. It, I'm just talking there, dunking a little bit of bread in the in the juice as well was, was fantastic. The um, the meat, the monkfish meat. If I can if I can explain it, if that's the tail of the lobster there, and the texture is very similar. I was also just saying that um, some of the cheeks, obviously, because they, they come on different sized monkfish. The bigger ones, the thicker ones. Um, they were, I was going to say, more tender, more juicy them. Whereas the smaller ones, because they'd, cause they'd cooked a little time bit quicker, they'd gone a little bit more brown and taken some more colour. I like the fact that they were almost a little bit crispy and, and crunchy. I mean, <coughs> all of it was absolutely delicious. And yeah, as you, and as you say, it was simple. I mean, every single thing was just very almost, almost no prep on them apart from just cutting them up and putting them in there. Slicing things up, yes. <laughs> and the layering the cooking with uh, doing the potatoes. Oh, for the timings for the cookings. Yes, I understand. It's lovely and colourful mm. as well, doesn't it? And uh, a crumble for dessert. We're freshly picked this morning and cooked this afternoon. Mm. John, do you want some clotted cream? Um, okay, with my ice cream. What a way to finish. Mm. Mm. Well, Jim, just thank you very much. That was absolutely wonderful. Oh, it, I, um, it was yeah. very, very. Tasty, tasty, very. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Tasty, 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 very, very, very tasty. 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 Very tasty. 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 Brand Put flakes. it in the comments. Brand flakes. Brand flakes. Brand flakes. Brand no. I hope you enjoyed joining us. I hope you found it interesting. All the very best. See you later. Bye. Bye. Mm. People are going to want to know now. Put it in the comments. <laughs>